Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn about scalar quantity, vector quantity, addition of vectors, subtraction of vectors, scalar product or dot product, vector product or cross product. Okay. First of all, we will see scalar quantity. What is scalar quantity? What is scalar quantity? Already in the internet, you know about this. A any physical quantity having only magnitude but not direction, nothing but what scalar quantity. Okay, so scalar quantity, nothing but what only magnitude. Scalar, scale, scalar only magnitude but not direction. Okay, so examples of scalar quantities: distance, time, work. These are the examples of scalar quantities. Which has only magnitude but not direction. If I say 10 kilometers, it is not a complete sentence. If I say 10 kilometers, nothing but or 10 kilometers distance. But if I say the distance between Kandu to Vikarabad is 40 kilometers. From Kandu to Vikarabad is how much 40 kilometers? Then it is a complete sentence. But if I say 10 kilometers or 40 kilometers, there is no meaning. Okay, it is not a complete sentence. So, scalar quantity will only show the magnitude but not direction. Here we are showing the direction. Tambo to Vikaraba is how much 40 kilometers. It has magnitude 40 kilometers and also direction. Tambo to Vikaraba. So, vector quantity, vector quantity having both magnitude and direction. It is a vector quantity. If I say from Tambo to Vikaraba, it is 40 kilometers. It is a vector quantity. It is displacement. Not a distance. Okay. Displacement. Displacement is a vector quantity. But distance is a scalar quantity. Remember. Okay. In competitive exams, if you go for MSc, MSc physics or any other competitive exams. Okay. These questions may be framed. Okay. What are the, in, in a given four options. Okay. Which is scalar quantity. Like that you may ask. He will, he will give some examples. Velocity, acceleration, okay, electric field and distance which is scalar quantity. Distance is scalar quantity. Remaining R are, are vector quantities. They have both magnitude and direction. Okay. So scalar quantity which has only magnitude but not direction. Vector quantity and I explained vector quantities also. Okay. Vector quantity is nothing but what? Which has both magnitude and Direction. Examples are displacement, velocity. For example, what is velocity? Displacement by time. Okay. Okay. So, displacement by time. Velocity is also vector quantity because 40 kilometers per hour uh, bike is traveling. Okay. From Tandu to Vikaraba. Like that. Okay. Velocity also having direction. Right? So, vector quantities, scalar quantities. Examples, velocity, displacement, electric field. These are the examples of vector quantity. And distance, time, work. Okay? These are the examples of scalar quantities. Now, I think it is clear that scalar quantity and vector quantity. Now, we are moving towards... We are moving towards vector addition. Addition of vectors. Okay. See, already in the intermediate you saw how can we add the uh, two vectors. Okay. In general, vector is represented by simply a capital letter or small letter with bar, arrow mark on it, or a thick letter. Thick letter. Okay. So, any vector is represented by what? Any alphabet with a arrow mark, okay, vector will be printed like that, okay. Now, in addition of vectors, there is another two vectors, A bar and B bar, okay, A bar and B bar, how can we have simply A bar plus B bar, okay. For example, it is vector A, it is vector B, the resultant vector C bar will be A bar plus B bar. So, C bar equal to A bar plus B bar. 
okay r resultant vector if you take for terminus r resultant vector r bar is equal to a bar plus b bar like that we will take uh, the examples okay in general a bar for two dimension vector it can be written by a i cap plus a i cap plus b j cap okay like that and uh, or simply a i cap for single vector for b bar it is b j cap like that for single vectors for uh, two dimensions it will be i cap a i cap plus b j cap for three dimensions it will be c j cap like that we can represent any vector according to the directions okay so simple r bar is equal to a bar plus b bar like that we can add the two vectors okay uh, right so like this we can represent addition of vector the magnitude of these resultant vector can be given by modulus of r bar okay which is under root of a square plus b square plus 2 ab cos theta okay so the addition of two vectors a bar plus b bar the the magnitude of two vectors is given by modulus of r bar which is equal to under root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta this is a general formula already in the intermediate you can see this uh, formula okay so this is what magnitude of resultant vector formula under root a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta listen the class carefully and whatever the formulas i am uh, giving you should be noted okay it should be noted and it will be sent through the whatsapp to me okay so next we have subtraction of vector simple subtraction a bar minus b bar simple a bar minus b bar and the resultant magnitude of two vectors is given by under root a square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta which should be remembered okay for subtraction of vector the resultant vector modulus that is magnitude is how much under root a square plus b square minus 2ab cos theta okay like this we can uh, add or subtract two vectors two given vectors okay next we have scalar product what is scalar product scalar product simple if you take any two vectors a bar and b bar scalar product of dot product we can call dot product okay can be represented by a bar dot b bar which is equal to simply ab cos theta ab cos theta a ah, simply cos theta is equal to a bar dot b bar by ab like this we can represent scalar product okay or dot product simple if it is cos value is positive then the so dot product is positive if the cos value is negative dot product will be negative simple formula already you saw in your intermediate okay next we have cross product okay a bar cross product or we can say vector product okay vector product simple a bar and b bar you take a bar and b bar it will be written by a cross b which is equal to simply a b sin theta or sin theta is equal to a cross b by a b ah there is another formula for it okay If you take a bar cross b bar, sir, if, if a bar is equal to a i cap or a one i cap plus a two j cap plus a three k cap, and b bar is equal to 
ಡೈವರ್ಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಟರ್ ಕರ್ಲಾಫ್ ಎಕ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅಪ್ಕಮಿ